Let's do it quite quick as well. So tell me about what you've just been tackling with Hannah. Um, close staff by Stuart Griffith. Okay, and what sort of work was it? It was about um, people being in the war with disabilities and stuff. Were there paintings or...? There were photographs. It was when he, this, this soldier had taken a camera with him as well as his like, bullets and stuff. How did it make you feel? How did it, his stuff make you feel? I've seen it before. You've seen it all before? Yeah. Seen these photographs before? No, just photographs of like injured soldiers from the war. Okay, so does it make you not feel anything then because you've seen it before? Yeah. What about you then? Uh, there's kind of things that make me like a bit depressed and stuff. But it is kind of interesting to find out more. Mm. Like, cause you don't, you never really know a lot. So each like individual story is good. Yeah, kind of like what Danielle said, because like you get that, and you don't, and sometimes you don't. I haven't seen many photographs. I've seen mostly like drawings and stuff, and it's not always quite the same because like even in photographs you can like edit it slightly to show that it's not actually what it is. And sort of like, like those ones were like exactly what had happened. And stuff. Which was your favourite photo? Then? said to you, tell me about the exhibition that you've just seen outside. Which photograph comes to mind first for you, tell me? Probably the man with the eye, uh, when in the eye. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that one. So it had a bit of an impact on you? Yeah, because that's the kind of the first one we really saw. It was, like, it was at the end of the corridor, so like, facing towards it, so you could see it, and it was quite a deep one. Okay, would you recommend the exhibition to anybody else? How would you recommend it to somebody else then? So say you were not <laughs> recommend it, you've got to do it, tell your class at school about it. Uh, I'd probably say what I said before about like it being about the inside stuff and probably show a couple of photos of uh, the photos and stuff. Because sometimes I think war's a bit glamorised, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah. Some, the army and yeah. that all feels a bit glamorous, you yeah. know, you see the stuff on the news like these heroes, yeah. particularly on the day like today. But if, yeah, if you realise it's just like 
call them heroes, but really they're just going out and killing people like whether they're on your side. Yeah, because that was kind of the perspective of a couple of the droids and stuff. Like the soldier actually strong. felt like he shouldn't be killing people, like the innocent people, as opposed to like. Maybe it shows the real story behind the soldiers that are going to war because the government don't show all they just show the happy stuff and the good stuff. Well, they want to keep happy them. because war isn't mm. happy. I know the main that sort of side just of it. Just so like keep the nation happy. So like in uh, World War Two and all the propaganda but they never see what's really behind them. And uh, just like tricking people into going to war, saying that it's the happy thing and exciting new adventure but uh, there are risks that we take. That made me think about, you know, the recruitment efforts that you see, like it's yeah. all about getting alive and, you know, joining the army. It's just the radio work. ones at the moment, um, talking about the Cali train and all the different jobs it goes into a list of them. And you just think, like, they're not exactly telling you exactly what you're actually risking yourself doing. People will be like, oh, I need to go and help my country, let me, I'll go and do that job, and it's not actually what it's like. So you're saying it ties back to what Rob Charlie was saying then, it gives you a bit more of a realistic insight, doesn't it, into... But one of the things that made me feel is, like, you know, these guys are all amazing, aren't they, when they're, when they're going off and they look so smart in their uniforms and that. But, God, what kind of lives have they all yeah. got now? And who, who cares? Yeah. It doesn't look by their standard of living, like many people do care. Yeah, you, like, come, I think, I guess they come back, like, completely different from where they started off, like, proud, like... Soldiers and just come back like kind of defeated with the like the one before or not or whatever. Yeah. And even if they have them, they're obviously already like hurt and stuff. So mm. once they're like back, I don't think anyone particularly like does anything for them. One more quick question then, just thinking physically about the way it's curated. You know, when you do an exhibition, they curate it. It's how they decide to hang it and display it. What did you think about the way that was created, curated? Um, I think. I think with. Because of the emphasis that it had, it was really good, but maybe there could have been some more words. I mean, there was the bit that was sectioned off because of the language and stuff, and I thought that was probably the bit that had more insight. Um, so I think it was done quite well in how they presented it, but there probably could have been a little bit more wording, even though the pictures had a lot of impact, maybe a little, like, a little bit in some places. Okay. Uh, I think that was like kind of good about it that normally when you get photos you've got like the um, description of them that's kind of like you can think about it for yourself and then kind of the photo shows it more because they're like quite strong. Because this, this one hasn't got the description. No, so it's just got the like beginning bit and then... So you liked that it yeah. led you to your own yeah. interpretation but you would prefer a bit more information? Not on all of them, just maybe on so a few of them to show just... What about you? What did you think about the way it was just displayed? They stood out quite well, so when you walked down, there were like pictures right in front and pictures all around. Um, but I'm not really sure. When you first saw that exhibition a couple of weeks ago, did you walk past it and think, oh, I'm not interested in that? Or did you do a bit of a like, oh, I wonder what that's about? No, they've got some like quite big pictures on the walls, but I was actually quite interested because it's like, yeah, I hadn't seen it before. Those big pictures are quite high fitting, I think, aren't yeah. they? It did make me stop and go, whoa. Yeah. It, made, it feels like a proper photography exhibition, yeah, exactly. isn't it? Okay, anything else you'd like to say about this guy? <laughs> All done? Oh shit, I forgot to press record. Are you joking? Yeah, I'm joking.